So we brought our stuff to the table here. We got our sign set up. Good morning or good afternoon whenever you're actually watching this video. Today we are going to go out to Oakville to a toy convention and we're not just going there to buy things, though that, though could, that could be a could possibility. Be we're actually going there to sell things at this toy convention. And most of the things we are gonna be selling today is stuff we found at either thrift stores Facebook Marketplace or Garages. Oh, there's my wife right there, walked by. She actually was holding something we're gonna bring at the event. So we're actually gonna bring a ton of Lego stuff that we've been getting at like garage sales, thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, including these Lego sets here, which will be a ton of Lego minifigures that we've actually separated on each base plate by price. We're also bringing the sign here so people can subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out our eBay store as well. Yes, beautiful. My wife actually made this at work. She's uh, amazing. And this is the other stuff we're bringing. A lot of it was from Facebook Marketplace, garage sales, thrift stores, all of this stuff. And we're gonna be bringing this out as well to the toy convention, including this really nifty idea here. We actually got this case on a Facebook Marketplace deal, but check this out. This is what people are gonna be able to do when they come by the booth. They can actually, oh, there we go. Build their own minifigure. Mini we've got legs, we've got torsos, we've got heads, we've got helmets and hats, so they can have fun with that. We also have other minifigures as well that are complete that will be sold. So now we're gonna go to the car and pack everything up. That's it, now we're ready to go. My wife is dressed like an Eskimo driving the car right now. I guess it's real cold. So it's gonna take about 35 minutes to drive to Oakville from where we are. So it's gonna be quite the drive, quite the amount of gas. So I hope it's really worth it. We spent $50 on the table and I'm hoping to at the very least sell $250 and stuff. And then I'd be happy with 500 and I'd be really happy with anything over $1,000. So we will have to see, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be the first time we've ever done anything like this. So cheers to that. So we brought our stuff to the table here. We got our sign set up and we just have to get everything out of the boxes. But oh my God, there is a lot of sellers here today. So a lot of competition, but you know what? Maybe I'll actually trade and buy some stuff later on from some people. But first we gotta get unpacked. For sale. Who will it be? Will it be you? No? No, he's looking at another booth. Okay, so we just still sit here. So it's been about like 20 minutes and we haven't got a single sale, but I don't think there's a lot of people walking around here that are actually buyers. So it's still people kind of setting up. I don't know how busy it's actually going to be today. I'm hoping that we actually get rid of half of the table. That'd be nice. I'd be really happy with that. Even a third at this point, I think it'd be nice. Five years later. So far, we've been here for about 45 minutes and we haven't got a single sale. I'm a little bit worried. I won't lie. This is uh, kind of crazy. Not a lot of traffic, not a lot of people buying. We're definitely in a slow season. We are finally getting some people here though, so that's a good sign, even some kids. Now we've had three interactions, but no sales yet. So we're still waiting on that first sale. So we actually just made like three sales really fast. We sold the Millennium Falcon we, that we actually brought, the Power of the Force one. We sold seven minifigures, and then we also sold a Star Wars Micro Machines bag for 15. So we're actually doing okay right now. Literally, like all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it's just like three in a row. So who knows, maybe that means we're gonna have to wait another 30 minutes for yeah, sale. Probably. We just sold a Serpentine Ninjago figure for $15 now, so we're on a roll. Yeah, if you guys want, $3, you can build your own minifigures and get all the accessories, the hair pieces, the heads. So that was really cute. We just uh, sold two build your own minifigures for $3. The kids uh, had some fun grabbing accessories, different hair pieces and legs. It was really cool. I'm hoping that we have more kids do that because that was just really fun for the table and gets the kids that are born to Lego. They, they get creative, they build their own things. Like, it's really cool. Anyways, hoping for the next sale. So it's about noon right now. We had a solid hour of sales and I think we made about 300 so far, which I'm actually really happy with, but it's been slowing down like crazy the past half hour. We haven't had a single sale. Not a lot of people come to check by the booth. So I think things are starting to slow down. There's only three hours left. If things slow down a lot, I might try to make some trades with other tables or actually just start packing up. And usually when you start packing up, you might actually trigger a few people to come by the table and then make some sales. So we'll see what happens. So we're taking a little bit of a lunch break with some unhealthy McDonald's stuff, but we've noticed that uh, the room has gotten really quiet. I think uh, we've pretty much seen the most of it now. So this is all the stuff that we brought back. We managed to get rid of at least a third of the stuff that we brought there, which I think is pretty successful. The main seller, believe it or not, 
was the custom build your own minifigures for $3. We had a ton of little kids go by and buy a ton of these minifigures. And overall, it was really successful. However, obviously $3, you're not getting a lot of bang for your buck, but people really liked the customization that they were able to do for that. And I think it was a great way to get people to the table. Things that did not sell. My God, wrestling figures. No one wanted wrestling figures. They just did not sell at all. We did end up selling some Marvel Legends loose figures in there. We sold them for about 5 to $10 each. So we had some success on the Marvel Legends front. When it comes to Star Wars, we ended up selling the Millennium Falcon that we brought for $50. We probably could have gotten more, but it was the first sale of the day. So I was kind of anxious to get that first sale out of the way. And that was the first thing that sold. We also sold some Star Wars micro machines and those sold for $15 or a little bag there as well. We probably could have sold it for more on eBay, but sometimes getting that cash on hand is a better option than obviously selling everything on eBay. And obviously with the fees and everything else, there's there's other costs in there as well and there's obviously other risks that you take when you sell there we also so we also have a bunch of other lego stuff that we had to bring back not a lot of lego stuff sold there was like nothing really sealed except for one poly bag it was a little it was a lego star wars poly bag that sold that was it none of the lego sets we brought sold it was really just minifigures here and there and the custom minifigures overall was the thing that brought the most customers to the table anyways that was my experience at the toy convention i don't know if you guys have ever sold that way let me know in the comment section below and with that being said guys may your carts always be full